8.7c, Ocean Tides. In this activity, students use various models to discover how the moon's gravitational force influences the waters on Earth. Using magnets to model gravitational force. As an introduction, review the moon versus the sun data to help students understand that the larger the mass of an object, the greater its gravitational force. To illustrate this fact, we'll test magnets, first using a single ring. Hanging from a single point, attach as many paper clips as possible while suspending the magnet to determine the strength of its magnetic pull. Repeat using five rings in total. Record the number of paper clips from each test in the student journal. To measure the effective distance of magnetic attraction, place the five ring magnet 30 centimeters away from the paper clip and move the single magnet within one centimeter of the paper clip. Ask students whether the sun or moon has a greater effect upon the water on Earth, and why. High tide on both sides. As a precautionary measure, students must wear goggles throughout part two. For the first test, balance a ruler on the end of a finger. Next, Try a pencil. Now add an eraser to the pencil. Watch how the center of gravity shifts toward the heaviest area of the balanced object. To test the principle of inertia, that a body in motion tends to stay in motion, tape the ball and string together and whirl it around in the air. After a few seconds, let go of the string and record what happens to the ball. This might be one for the great outdoors. Understanding how Earth's tidal bulges produce daily high and low tides. Prepare a photocopy of the model guide using white cardstock or very heavy paper. Cut two pieces of cardboard and tape them together to use as a platform for the tidal model. Secure the corners with push pins. Cut out the pieces on page two of the model guide and emphasize precision when cutting. Color the water piece blue and the solid earth piece brown. Tape one end of a 20 centimeter string to the back of the brown solid earth to facilitate rotation on its axis. Lastly, pin the model pieces together using their north pole points with the brown piece on top and attach the two to the center of the moon's orbit on the platform. For the simulation exercise, number the remaining days along the orbital path, 27 in total, rounded to the nearest day. Set the moon to day one. Use the string to rotate the Earth 360 degrees on its axis and watch, from a perspective high above the Earth, how the land moves in and out of tidal bulges to produce low and high tides. Move the moon to day two and rotate the Earth again 360 degrees. Repeat as necessary to reinforce the slow shifting of the moon's gravitational force.